Students, we know that according to Fermi theory of beta decay, a neutron changes to a proton and a proton changes to neutron along with emission of beta particles and neutrino. Today we talk about experimental evidence of neutrino. Let us start. The experimental detection of neutrino was done in 1950s by two scientists. Rhinus and Cohen. For source of neutrino, they used a nuclear reactor. And for detection of neutrino, they used liquid scintillator detectors. The experimental setup was in this way. They used a liquid scintillator detector LSD1 and liquid scintillator detector LSD2. There was also a tank of water H2O to provide protons H1 1 some amount of cadmium chloride was also added to this tank. Now gamma rays were obtained from this tank and were made to fall on liquid scintillator detectors LSD1 and LSD2. The output was fed to a photo multiplier tube and final result was displayed on the screen of CR. What happened was that an anti neutrino was captured by proton in water and we obtained anti neutrino plus proton change to neutron along with emission of positron. We call it a reverse beta decay. Now, electron was a positron was captured by an electron in water and hence annihilated it. Electron plus positron. Electron was annihilated by positron along with emission of two gamma rays, each with energy 0.51 MeV. Now a small pulse was recorded on the screen of CRO. If we see screen of CRO, a small pulse was recorded on the screen of CRO. The neutron traveled in the solution and finally. Neutron was captured by cadmium. Cadmium has a large neutron capture cross action. Following this neutron capture, cadmium was left in highly excited state, which quickly emitted 9 MeV gamma rays. 9 MeV gamma rays. These gamma rays were from positron capture. Positron capture with energy 0.51 MeV and these gamma rays were due to neutron capture with energy neutron capture with energy 9 MeV. The time delay between these two pulses was found to be 5.51 microsecond. Now if cadmium is not filled in the solution, there is no neutron capture and there is no second pulse on the screen of CRO. We get first pulse only due to electron positron annihilation and this happened when there was anti neutrino and there was a reverse beta decay. If there is no neutrino, then there is no positron, there is no electron 
positron annihilation and there is no gamma ray pulse so students following this experiment conclusion was inescapable the neutrino is a real particle and not just figment of folly and fermi's imaginations goodbye